fellow Kenyans, finally the D-Day is here with us. Tomorrow is the 20th of March, the day we have been all waiting for. Tomorrow, we want Kenya to come out in large numbers and show the displeasure with what is going on in our country. Since Mr. Ruto was sworn in six months ago, he has continued to run this country with a lot of contempt. The cost of living has skyrocketed. Kenyans are suffering because of high costs of essential commodities. The cost of hunger, the cost of cooking oil, the cost of kerosene, petrol, diesel, sugar, uh, school fees, electricity are all very high. Many Kenyans cannot bear the cost of living. A number of people are even, are even dying because of uh, lack of food. In spite of our petitions to introduce subsidies so that the suffering can be alleviated, he has contemptuously continued to move on without care. Secondly, the issue of the Electoral Commission. We have said many times, and I will repeat it again here, that the Electoral Commission is the referee in the game of elections and must be appointed in consultation among all sections of the community, particularly the, the major players, the political parties. We have not been party to what is going on not now. I will say that what is being appointed is a Ruto Commission which is aimed at rigging the 2027 elections in advance. We will not accept this. Thirdly is the issue of our stolen elections. We have asked several times that they should allow access to the server in light of the information that has come out from the whistleblower. They have refused to open the server. But we have sufficient evidence to show that Mr. Ruto did not win the elections in, 20, uh, in, uh, in 2022. And this is another reason why. That's why we said that all Kenyans of goodwill should converge tomorrow, march together to the center of the city. And once you gather to the center of the city, it shall be a grand march to State House to claim our victory. Today is really a major march, Mepika. Sasa Nisaya Kupiga Parapanda. Kesho Alfajiri, Nigependa Kuimiza wa Kenya Wote, Rahoki Mapema, Nwangye Kunye Kiwanja. Tutakutana Katikati ya Mujiji wa Nairobi. Nataka wa Kenya Kunye Wote. Sababu ni hizi. Kwanza, sasa ni mwezi sita tangu Banarutu ashiki hatamu ya utawala katika taifa letu. Ndani ya mjumuhula huyo, Banarutu ajashugulika na karame maisha. Karame maisha kwa wakanya umepanda zaidi. Wakanya wengi hawezi hata kuweka ugali kwa meza kwa marambili katika siku. Watoto wanaumia. Vile vile kwenye wengine wanakufa kwa sababu ya ukosefu ya chakula. Bei ya mafuta imepanda, bei ya unga imepanda, bei ya stima imepanda, uh, bei ya petroli yote imepanda. Kwa Kenya wanaangamiza. Pili, ndani hiyo mhula, Bwana Ruto ameleta ukabila na amegawanya wa Kenya kwa msingi ya kikabila kushinda raisi yote katika taifa letu tango tupate uhuru. Tatu ni juu ya mambo ya tume ya uchaguzi. Tulisema tume ya uchaguzi ni kama rifari katika mchezo. Na inatakana tume ya uchaguzi itauliwe na pande zote mbili. Lakini bwana Ruto anazidi kuendelea mbele kuteua tume ya uchaguzi ambayo itakuwa 
ni ya Uda na Kenya kwanza peke yake. Hii maana yake imemaanisha kuiba kura ya mwaka 2027. Kwa hivyo wa Kenya wote mpaka wajihadari. Alafu mishowe ni mambo ya wizi ya kura ya ushindi wetu. Tumesema na tumetoa thibitisho ya kwamba matokeo ambayo yalitangazwa na bwana Chebukati tarehe 15 mwezi wa Agosti ilikuwa ni matokeo bandia. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu yao yote tunataka wa Kenya wote kesho wajumuike na waingie katika katikati ya mji wa Nairobi. Kule tutakutana. Tutakutana pale tutaanza safari ya kwenda ikulu. Ili kule twende tunyakue ushindi wetu.